Hey, ASAL here from Instaproofs, and in this video, I am going to derive the volume of a cone. So given a cone with base radius r and lateral height h, we want to derive the formula for the volume of this cone in terms of its height and its radius, or the function of v of h and r. And I am going to derive it using calculus. So let's get to it. As you can see, a cone is radially symmetric from all sides from a central axis that extends from the center of its base all the way to the top corner. In other words, if we took a right triangle with one leg side labeled H and another leg side labeled R and placed an axis, say the central axis for the sake of our proof, along the H side and revolve this triangle about the central axis a full 360 degrees we would get a cone with the radius r and height h. And by interpreting the cone in this way, we can see that it falls under the profile of a solid of revolution, or a solid created by revolving any 2D shape around any axis. And further seeing that any cross section of this cone perpendicular to the central axis is a solid disk and not a ring, we can use the disk method to find its volume. So we proceed. So we draw out our Cartesian coordinate. Then we draw a triangle with sides R and H such that the side H is on the x-axis or the axis of revolution. And the cone ends at the origin, 0, 0. By doing this, we obtain our function f of x equals R over H times x. Because this function is a line passing through the origin and through the point H, R, so it has a slope R over H and Y intercept. 0. Now that we have set up our graph and function, we are ready to proceed with our method. And before I start with the disk method, as a quick side help, you know that if we take an instantaneous rectangular strip of length f of x and of width dx, having an instantaneous area dA, where dA equals f of x dx, and we integrate from the origin all the way to x equals h, we will get the area under the curve f of x, or the area of the triangle. But similarly for our disk method, if we replaced our instantaneous strip with an instantaneous cylindrical disk of radius f of x and height dx, so with this instantaneous volume dv equal to pi times f of x squared times this dx, because well, the volume of this cylinder is pi times its height times its radius squared, integrating from the origin all the way to x equals h this time, we will get the volume of our cone. And now that we have our integral, all that is left to do is to integrate. So we plug in for f of x and get the volume equal to the integral from 0 to h of pi times the quantity r over h times x square dx. We distribute the square and we pull out the constants and then we get pi times r squared over h squared of the integral of 0 to h of x squared dx. Integrating, we then get the following. Plugging in our limits, the bracket simplifies to h cubed over 3. And seeing that h cubed over h squared is simply just h, we then arrive at h times pi times r squared over 3. And this here is a formula for the volume of our cone. So there you have it, the derivation for the volume of a cone by using calculus. I really hope this video helps out. Until next time, thanks for watching.